Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're going to show you how to make your own powerhead driven gravel vac for cleaning your aquarium. Now one of the main benefits to its design is the ability to customize its length, making it easier to reach the bottom of deep aquariums than maybe up on a tall stand. Now make sure you stay to the end of the video where I'll demonstrate three different uses for this project. Let's start the build. For this project, you'll need a clear plastic bottle with a cap. We're choosing to use our classic 17 ounce bottle that has a uniform shape, but you can use any type of small bottle you want. You also need a piece of one half inch PVC pipe. Now the length of this piece will vary depending on the depth of your aquarium. We're choosing to use a length of about two feet and it'll work great in our 55 gallon tank. You'll also need two one half inch male risers, three one half inch male hose connectors, two one half inch PVC female adapters, a one half inch threaded ball valve, and some plumber's tape. Now all of these things can be found in the irrigation and plumbing section of your local hardware store. The last thing you'll need is some type of material to separate out the debris that we're going to be collecting. Now you could use some filter padding for this, but we recommend using some 100% polyester filling which you can get at the craft store for really inexpensive. This stuff will come in a huge bag and you'll be able to reuse it for a lot of other projects. To run the gravel vac, you're going to need two separate pieces of tubing as well as a power head. The tubing that we're using is 7 8 by 5 8 inch vinyl tubing. The first piece we lay down is the longer of the two and it'll connect our vac to our power head. The second piece is much shorter, about 2.5 feet long. The power head we're using to drive our gravel vac is rated close to 400 gallons per hour. It also has a threaded input and output which is a crucial factor for this project. Start by delabeling your bottle and drilling a 3 quarter inch hole in the cap. Cut off the very bottom of the bottle and run a lighter around the edge to help strengthen the plastic. Just be careful not to burn it or cause the release of any fumes. Here's an example of what it should look like when you're done. Next, take one of your male risers and screw it into the cap. It should be a perfect fit. Grab one of your female adapters and screw it into place. Take your piece of PVC pipe and connect it to the other end of the female adapter. This will serve as the wand for the gravel vac. On the other end of this PVC pipe, attach your female adapter. Then wrap plumber's tape around your remaining male riser and screw it into place. Then connect your ball valve to this piece. You'll notice that this connection makes a slight groove, making it comfortable to hold while using your gravel vac. Next, wrap plumber's tape around one of your one half inch male hose connectors and screw it into the other end of the ball valve. We're now going to move on to setting up the power head. Simply screw in the remaining hose connectors to the input and output of the pump. Don't forget to wrap the threads with plumber's tape to ensure a waterproof seal. Now connect one end of your longer piece of tubing to the wand and the other to the input of the power head. Take your remaining short piece of tubing and connect it to the output. The last step in the project involves taking a handful of the polyester filling and pushing it to the back of the bottle. Our gravel vac's now complete, so let's go do some maintenance on a tank and talk about how it works. To operate this tool, start by suspending the end of the gravel vac in your aquarium. Draw a siphon through the output tubing on the power head and then quickly close the ball valve. This will hold our siphon, allowing us to position our power head and our output tubing. We wet down a small portion of the outside of the aquarium, allowing us to attach our power head to the glass. We then clamp the end of our output tubing to the edge of the aquarium. Next, we reopen the ball valve and quickly plug in our pump. Now your gravel vac should be running and you can begin to clean your tank just as you would with a regular siphon. We like this setup because it gives you the added benefit of time when cleaning out particulates from your gravel. You don't have to worry about your water change bucket filling up because clean water is recirculated back into the tank. Now when we run into an area of our tank that has a considerable amount of sand, we run into some issues with our gravel vac. Unfortunately, our power head is strong enough to pull sand up into the filter padding, thus clogging it. Now you may be able to get around this by using a weaker power head, but we weren't able to find one small enough that still had the fittings that we required. Thus, this is truly a gravel only vacuum. Now keep in mind this is not a substitution for doing your water changes. It's just a good method for removing a wide variety of debris from your tank. When you're done cleaning your tank, simply raise the wand out of the water and tilt it upward. Unplug the power head and lift up the tubing to drain out the remaining water. Now let's talk about some other uses for this project. You can simply disconnect the tubing from the power head and use this as a traditional siphon. You get the added benefit of the wand which gives you reach and the ball valve which enables you to start and stop your siphon whenever you want. You can also leave the power head attached but put the output tubing into a large tub, reducing the time it takes to do water changes. While it's okay to drain water quickly when doing water changes, we don't want to be adding our water back too fast, so don't use the same method when filling your tank back up. 
Well, that does it for the gravel vac, everybody. Check out DIYAquaPros.com, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Hey, thanks for watching.